Hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. We have a lot going on today, so let's talk about why people are saying Hive is abusing V and my thoughts on that. I also wanted to get into some soon to be released Jeju picks of V and Jenny and some of what Apple has said about hackers. And of course, I wanted to get into a moment where RM was on set and had a semi upset moment. So, hey or not, make sure to subscribe with the notification bell on. Go grab it, Dumplings. Hey, Spling Mug Merch, and let's get into it. The behind the scenes of RM in Sexy Nukem was recently dropped, and the song is very good. Please go ahead and stream it if you have seen it and would like to rewatch it with me and Fangirl together. Make sure you check out my Patreon. I will link my Patreon below in the description. Always a fun time over there. But there was a scene where Arm rolled over a toy Ferrari. Giving some backstory here, this part obviously played along with the lyrics where he was roasting people who flex too much. And he can definitely flex himself, but you can tell things like money and fame don't really matter to him that much. And he actually looks down on people who all they have to offer is that they think they're famous and rich. But at the end of the day, if your personality is to flex on people, then you actually have nothing to offer the people around you. It's not a fulfilling life. Are you a kind person? Do you actually contribute to your immediate community? Are you giving back? Are you enjoying your life and living for you and something that is fulfilling for you and your community rather than likes on social media? And to me, I felt like RM's verse was kind of talking about that. And a bike for him to ride on is the perfect thing to portray that. Now, this scene it was perfect for RM to ride a bike also because one, he doesn't have have his license so he couldn't come into the scene with a car and then second of all the bike really shows his personality as he loves biking in fact the staff for the shoot actually went ahead and rented out a bike specifically for arm and arm loved that they did that for him arm talked about this in the behind the scenes clip to say that he doesn't have his license and it's something that he no longer wants to deal with like people roasting him for it his exact words were i'm gonna get my license this year i'm gonna get it for real i have to stop the teasing about me not having a license the teasing is all in good fun. I don't think anyone is really thinking anything less than of RM for not having his license. A good chunk of BTS fans may not have their license either, so if those people are roasting him, then they need to get their license first. But the members can do whatever they want to do, and as the members are doing their individual thing, I think it allows each member time and energy to focus on their own activities rather than rush it through just to get it out. I don't know if BTS has ever felt like they rushed a comeback, but in this solo thing they're doing, Doing, there will be a no rush at all it, and it can be exactly how they want it to be there was some hashtags and protests online over V's solo work not specifically him doing solo work but just what happened with it let me explain V recently flew to New York and shot a thing with Vogue I think he might have done other brands too but the one that has come out right now is just Vogue Vogue recently treated him very well he is the only artist that has gotten a magazine that is very different they boldened the V in Vogue for V and then also there was a small bit on the right side it was a Korean character for V. Vogue then issued a change on the magazine. It removed the V in Korean and it just had the Roman alphabet character V instead. Vogue issued a response when people were mad at the change and they clarified that allegedly Hybe had issued this change. People were very upset and I know most of you are probably like, huh, that's not a big deal. But people were very mad. One of the reasons was that now the magazine is going to be hidden in the searches. So if you type up the Korean character for V, the search comes right up and I assume the magazine does as well. And then if you search just the plain Roman alphabet V, then it gets mixed in with every English word that has the letter V in it. So the complaint is that the new change is suppressing the magazine from being found in searches. And they claim that Hybe is trying to suppress the magazine. This makes no sense because Hybe obviously wouldn't want their members to be suppressed in the searches. If V is suppressed and the stock goes down because he isn't making money, then that's a loss for the company. Why on earth would they want that? Companies hate making money apparently. They're scared of money. And the whole search thing makes no sense. It's like they purposely only show or know half the information. The majority of the world is not looking up the Korean character V. They know V as the Roman alphabet letter V. So even if V's magazine appears on the third page when you type in the Roman alphabet V, it's still going to get more traffic and more people than if someone wrote in the Korean character V. Like for example, V can be the top and first search for the term cum diddly squat. But literally not that many people are searching that? It doesn't matter if he ranks first. How does 
that help him get his magazine page discovered? It doesn't. And then the others were saying that Hive has done this a lot because they never tweeted out about the magazine and it's the same situation when V released Sweet Night or whatever. Hive doesn't typically tweet out every single publication that the boys are in, even some of the big ones. So not doing that is not that big of a deal. It's literally people who have nothing at all to do with their day and want to get mad. People were demanding that Tan leave Hive and quit because the label is abusing him and all that. Whatever, think whatever you want to think. It's not that deep. Tang is the member that has actively and continuously talked about treating all seven members equally. If he felt that he wasn't treated equally, he would not have renewed his contract and signed his name when it was time to renew BTS's contract. Him and BTS would have just left. Of course, others also believe that the situation with V and Jenny, which may get worse, was poorly dealt with by Hybe because specifically Hybe is not really addressing anything. And Hybe cannot address everything. The alleged Jenny and V hacker Twitter account was recently restored. It was initially suspended and now it's back. And there is one tweet there that talking about how they will be releasing V and Jenny's Jeju pictures. These are the pictures that started the rumors and of course posting that would tie everything up. First off, there were a lot of people trying to re-report the account and get it taken down before they post these Jeju photos. My take on reporting of accounts is a bit controversial, but truthfully, I don't think it's a good idea. The hacker's account was reinstated. This means that the Twitter employee looked over the account and decided that the account did not violate anything and brought it back. The mass amount of reporting just brings it back into the Twitter office and then another Twitter employee has to review it even though they decided that the account didn't violate anything. However, if an account is reinstated and it's being reported for the same reason as it was taken down for, then Twitter will likely just ignore it. And that's not the bad part. The bad part is with every company that does moderation, every report gets reviewed by a human and that human has a quota they need to fill by the end of the day. So every time something that is reported, they have to review their policy and make sure that this video or account doesn't violate anything. If they then don't meet their quota by the end of the day because they're reviewing cases that should have been closed, they can either get written up or fired. But okay, fine. Let's say you don't care about the moderator's job or their family. Every single report that is being sent into review that is not specifically harmful or was already taken care of initially takes away an employee from reviewing gruesomely violent content that gets shown on social media. You notice how for the most part, we don't see a human smashed head photo on Twitter or TikTok. It's because someone is reviewing that and taking it down. That's how we are able to live on social media in peace. False reporting allows more of this content to not get taken down fast enough because the moderators are reviewing something that was already reviewed. And now this violent content has enough time on the platform to scar a seven-year-old on Twitter. This is what every false report is potentially doing. I don't know what their solution is here. Obviously, the hacker's account shouldn't be able to post Photoshop photos and cause this huge stir, but this is not the way to fix it. I also want to add that I full-heartedly believe the photos are photoshopped. We have no idea if V and Jenny are actually dating or not. Neither label really has confirmed, so they basically said it's up for speculation. However, whether they are dating or not, the photos are very likely photoshopped. Apple has come out a few times and even several news sites like The Guardian have run tests to see how likely someone is to hack someone else's iCloud. It's extremely difficult and the only way to do this is to know their password or know the answer to the victim's security questions. Even back when there was celebrity nudes getting leaked, it was mentioned that it wasn't a security breach or that type of hack, but just that the celebrities were using very easy passwords that were very guessable. Since that, every single person has likely upped their security on their iCloud, so it would be more difficult for a person to just get into someone else's iCloud. But what do you think? What do you think the Jeju photos will be? How do you feel about RM not having his license? And do you believe V is getting abused by Hybe? Such silly claims. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.